Boys, hello, can you hear me? <laughs> Hi, my name is George, welcome back. We have finished our long, our long adventure of nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, and yet the spooky season is not over and I have a little bit of time to indulge in some other spooky games. And because I'm a little bit of a pussy, I decided to pick one that has some very old graphics. <laughs> <laughs> to hopefully not get me too worked up. So this is going to be a blind run through of an old game called Five Days a Stranger. Now what I understand about this game is basic preliminary knowledge. I understand that it is a game that was made in the style of like old school point and click adventures, which are types of games that like I kind of played growing up, like Freddy Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I don't know, I remember like as a little kid, um, I used to go to my grandparents' house and my grandparents, they had all the like computer games. You could sit on the computer and you could play like little point and click games. This is supposed to kind of be in that vein, I think, but I do believe I'm under the impression that it is supposed to be a little bit spooky. I'm also under the impression that it's not supposed to be like a super long game. So it's something we could maybe do like just this week. Um, or even maybe within a week and then hop into something else. I don't totally know, but but we're gonna play it We're gonna see how it goes. I should get my hellos in order fiction of grandeur. Good to see you Karen says Matthew Webster. Hi, Zach. Hello, Tim W. How are we all doing today? Freddie fish everyone in the 90s baseline basically yes, so uh, it, it as with any blind adventure, you know, how is the game gonna be? I don't know, but I hope that you guys are all here for the adventure with me, and, and I hope that we have a good time uh, indulging in its activities of sorts. Also, over the weekend, what did I do? I carved pumpkins with a gentleman fella, and, uh, <laughs> and they got eaten within 24 hours. So there's this guy, and he lives around a lot of deer. Uh, there, there's just a lot of wildlife where he lives, and we stupidly thought, oh, well, as long as we keep the pumpkins really close to the house, they should be fine. And I carved a damn good pumpkin. When it's closer to Halloween, I should show you a picture. If you haven't already seen it on Instagram, I made a spider inside of mine, and it was spooky. And literally in l less than a day, um, it, it, the, the, the spider just got eaten out of the face of the pumpkin, and I was really sad about it. But um, that's supposed to, I don't, I don't know, it is what it is. Anyways, we're here to play a game. Why don't I stop dicking around? Why don't we just start into it, if, if, if I can. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gotta get my voice ready for the part. Testing, one, two, testing. Are you ready to listen to my soothing voice as we play another spooky narrative for spooky season in this October season? Here on, what's the F? Gay mean. Gay man. <laughs> Gay mean. All right. I don't have a name. I used to have one, and a lot of people would like to know what it is. Some call me Trilby. And as a name, it suffices. I've been called many things. A burglar, a hoodlum, a criminal. I prefer to think of myself as a gentleman thief. And tonight, I have something potentially very rewarding in store. Wow, this music though. My fence phones me in the middle of the night and asks if I know about Defoe Manor. Apparently, the last of the Defoe line has obligingly died without heirs, leaving all the family valuables up for grabs. Huh. The lawyers have got the place locked up tight, of course, but that's never stopped me before. And the place is, of course, deserted. Wow, this music actually slaps! <laughs> um, okay. Yes, this should be a painless and rewarding evening's entertainment. Okay, so we're a thief. <laughs> we're a real good guy, a real quality man. We are a thief about to rob... To, to, to rob a mansion of a bunch of people who have died. This so does sound like the setup for a story. What I need, chat, your quick assignment is to tell me how the sound is. 
my voice versus game audio. Is game too loud? Is game too quiet? Is George too loud? Is George too quiet? All right, you have to let me know. Did you eat your pumpkins? We did um, cook the pumpkin seeds, and we did have those as a little bit of a snack. Um, is, isn't is Trilby a type of hat similar to a fedora? Uh, maybe, I don't know. He is for sure wearing a hat. There, there's a hat on his person. Defoe, as in Willem? Who's a Willem? Looks 16-bit. Um, if you're going to play the other games in the series, they go in a specific order, not the numeral order. Okay, good to know. Uh, we're going to start with just this one, and we're going to suss out how we feel about it. Game audio is pretty good, maybe a little loud. Okay, how can I change game audio? What if I do this? Hang on. Hang to... Oh, well, oops. I would like to have... I would, like to have, I would like to have some game audio. Uh, what if we bring it down to like a, a hot 50? Do you notice the game audio being a little bit lower? Did I lower it at all? Do you notice a change? Willem Dafoe's an American actor. Oh, here, what if I lower it a lot? All right, new new volume setting. Let me know. It's it's important. It's important we suss this out now, so I don't have to deal with it as we're going through the game. We just gotta find a place that is nice. Oh wow, there's also author commentary. That's kind of interesting to maybe check out. We'll probably play through it blind without commentary, but it's it's nice to know that that's there. It's an option. All right, music reasonable. No change really. It's not any quieter for you guys? Huh. Well. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's try it... This way. Is this quieter? Give it a minute, wait for chat to catch up. I'll just be on my phone, don't mind you. I posted a new photo to Instagram. If you guys want to show me love and support, you could go like that. <laughs> oh, and my glasses came in. Um, well, okay, here's the thing about the glasses. Again, the, we're getting LASIK surgery, and the glasses that I got, they aren't the glasses that I want. So I got two pairs of glasses. One of them is the generic pair that came from Lens Crafters that has my prescription. So I have those, but I have yet to pick out like a frame that might actually suit my face and whatnot. So if you want to see me in glasses, um, <laughs> it's not going to be a very pretty look, but I do have the generics from Lens Crafters. This will be a rare sighting. Remember, I'm only doing this to stall for time uh, because you guys in chat are supposed to give me updates on the, the game volume if I've made it acceptable or not. So please make sure you do that. Because um, I can turn it down more. But... Huh. All right. Well, I wait for game volume. Here they are, boys. <laughs> They're my little Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> and it sucks, because I hate glasses with such a passion, and yet... You feel like the music volume hasn't changed? Jesus Christ! All right, let's be dramatic about it. All right. Does it sound quieter now? It has to. It, it has to. If you're telling me it's not sounding quieter, then I'm doing... Then me playing with the volume is simply not working. Huh. 
put the glasses on. I'll put the glasses on, chat, when you give me some appropriate feedback on my volume. This game has a rough issue with the volume being very loud in some cases, but not in others. Okay, well, is it too quiet now? It, it, I made it real quiet in my ears. Huh. Anyways, glasses. There we are, boys. A real, uh, nerd. Here, I can... <laughs> you can see my fucking ring light, or I can just look down. Uh... Good news is, the, the, the world is a lot clearer to me. Um, so so that, that's actually the good news and the shitty news, is that um, they work. So like, I kind of need to wear them a little bit. Um, now the game is too quiet. <laughs> that's what I thought was going to be the case. Here, let me bump it back up a little. Hopefully this is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting used to them. Um, also, when I do wear them for like looking at up close screens, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit much. I am, I am nearsighted, not farsighted. That is correct. These are to help me see at a distance, um, and my computer screen is pretty close to my face. But so I don't know. Sometimes small text, I still need it. Anyways. I have to wear them for like at least a year before I can figure out if I qualify for LASIK eye surgery, so. Um, and I have to wear them for at least like three months before I can qualify for contact lenses. So, that's gonna be my life now. <laughs> um, all right. On that note, let's jump into it, shall we? I think I've blown things off long enough. It's been 15 minutes. If the game audio sucks, it's your guys' fault. I tried the best that I could. <laughs> All right, let's start. Day one. Oh. 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 And the gentleman thief makes his entrance. Yes, he does, Daddy. Oh, wow. I, I spent so much time fighting over the volume, and there's not even fucking music in this scene. All right, so point-and-click adventure. We can do a couple of things. This is Trilby. He... Okay. He walks around. Window? Hmm. I appear to have to learn what to do. Yo, chat, do you hear some whispering? I don't know if you can because you guys made me turn my game audio real fucking quiet. <laughs> quiet. But, uh, I think you need to, I, I, I think you need to hear it because it's freaking me out a little. So we're just gonna turn it up. <laughs> hmm. His hat is a trilby, bottom left corner. Oh, oh! Wait. I don't know, how do I, how do I do anything else? Oh! Look. Look. A rather dreadful portrait of a woman Early Victorian style. And I notice a wedding band on her finger. This must be the wife of the mansion's first owner. Oh. oh damn, thick thighs save lives. She's got a peach for days. Bachelor of Law awarded to Clarence Defoe at, by the University of Warwick. Right. Clarence Defoe was the last owner of the house who recently died. I think I have just lost whatever sympathy I had for him. Oh. <laughs> Why, because he was a lawyer? Clarence Defoe was the last owner of the ha Oh, wait. Are these the same? Bachelor of Law. Clarence Defoe. Bachelor of Law. Clarence Defoe. Okay, I thought there were three things, but that's fine. It doesn't seem like a Victorian fixture. It must be an addition made by the most recent tenant. Yes. That's me. Trilby. I'm a man. 
A big old man. The kind of books the middle class keep around themselves in order to appear learned. <laughs> That's the window through which I entered this place. Right. It's a door. <laughs> oh my god, he sounds like Clover. That's a bed. That's a door. That's a window. <laughs> okay, uh, what else can I do? Can I use desk? The drawers are all either empty or full of meaningless paperwork. I have no interest in these books. What about the safe? Oh, damn. It's empty. Oh. Picture? It's too bulky to carry around. It's also unsigned and therefore valueless. They have no value to anyone except the owner. And he's dead. Great, okay, nice. Clarence Defoe, I'm so sorry that you passed. Everybody is on oh those. shit, Nate! We're doing it! Shut! I got it! It's my Tito's. She's always by my Nate side. Nate donated $10. Cute glasses. Your streams make my week nights. Celebrating my night off with a drink so shots on me and cheers to a new game. Aw, thank you, Nate. Alright, I will do it, boys. Uh, we're here, we're in the house, we're queer, we're ready to steal, so let me do a, uh, that's, this is a little bit of a big glass for a shot. Let me do a shot of Leold alcohol as we get ready to rob from the dead. Does it, is it still really a bad crime if you're looting from people who are dead? Here's the thing about the gentleman thief. You know, you're stealing from the Defoe estate, but if all of the Defoes are dead, are we really committing a crime? Because do we really want that money going to the state, wherever we are. Do you think we're in Japanifornia? I don't know. All right. Here we go, boys. This should get me in the mood to play a point and click adventure. Let's see how long it takes me to rob this place. Hmm. Bloody fuck. I went British there. <clears throat> hmm. Huh. That one really uh, hit my throat aggressively on the way down. <laughs> All right, thank you for the shot donation. Wow, it's really awkwardly quiet with no background music. All right. I'd prefer to leave the same way I came in. Oh, oh, oh. Did we steal anything though? The safe was empty. Shouldn't we explore the rest of the house? We're already leaving? Hmm, it won't open. It must have been jarred shut somehow. Well, I guess I'll have to take the old-fashioned way out. Sir! <laughs> Jesus, you know, if I was running this operation, I feel like it would run a hell of a lot smoother. But that's just... Oh, okay, so this game likes to just throw in random spooky sounds. Yay, I love that. We're in Great Britain this time. Is that factual? Oh, whoa, what? Oh, oh no, no! Oh, stay away from me! Christian Eldred, hello? Stay away! I, uh, sir? Huh, what got into him? Oh, wait. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm wearing this thing. My daunting mask, but who the hell was that guy anyway? I was under the impression that this house was empty. Hmm. I don't know, but now we have music, which means it's probably music that's playing too loud and is gonna upset the delicate ears and balances of my my chat, so perhaps I should put in... Oh. Uh, perhaps we should lower this a little bit, but not all the way. Hmm, maybe a little lower. Alright, Chad, you let me know. Okay, can I go out this window? Nope, it's jammed shut. Right, okay, what about this door? Hmm, locked. Alright, hey buddy. Are you here to rob the place too? Do you need some help? It's still locked. Uh... I really could do with a haircut. Hey, I just got one. 
I'm not the sort of cat burglar who leaves the taps running out of sheer malevolence. It's because we're a gentleman. I'm a gentle thief, actually. I'm going to steal from you, but I'm going to do it in the most delicate and intimate way possible, and you are going to feel just some special kind of way about it. Alright, what a- Hey, do you want to use the bidet? When I need it, I'll let you know. Alright, Trilby's not bottoming tonight. Uh, alright. Here we go, boys. Pull back the curtain. There's nothing here. How anticlimactic. I shouldn't think there's much underneath. Well, Trilby, you never know until you try. Jammed shut. Uh, maybe look at it? It's just an ordinary bathroom mat. Okay. I hate bidets. They're so decadent. I think bidets should be a standard in every American household. It's a sink. Beyond that, there's not much I can say about it. An immaculate porcelain lavatory. The bath is very clean and white. Probably recently used. <gasps> Great. Okay, we're... We're getting nowhere fast here. Hmm. Alright, all the doors are still locked. Maybe we go downstairs? Downstairs- down- Chubby? Chubby? Down- Chubby! Chubby! Down. Down. There you- there you go, buddy. Hmm. Telephone? The line's dead. Somehow, I was expecting that. No latch, no chain, no deadbolt. It doesn't even have a keyhole. So why won't the bloody thing open? This is becoming very tiresome. But, Professor! Have you tried opening the door? Luke! Just because we are in England does not mean you have the right to exist. It's just ornamental. Drawers and cabinets are all empty. Right. I think finding a way out of this place is higher on my priorities than stealing the furniture right now. Well, it's called multitasking. It's a nice sit down, or a nice sit down can wait for later. I know some pretty unscrupulous art dealers, but I doubt even they deserve this. Ouch, wow, everybody's a critic. I doubt any of these would be helpful. Anything worth taking a look at here? Had no in other news, the society world is still shaken by the sudden death of Sir Clarence Defoe. Ha 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 ha! I'm a woman reporting the news. Sir Clarence and his wife Julia were found dead last Thursday morning in Defoe Manor. Huh. Our correspondent Peter Daltrey has the report. Peter, if you would. Oh uh, yeah, it was just four weeks ago that this place was a uh, buzz of activity as Sir Clarence Defoe moved in with his new bride, Julia Swanson Defoe! Four weeks ago? Oh no, that's a... Now, after this uh, shocking tragedy, the place is quiet as the tomb, and it's pretty empty of human life. Except for me. <laughs> Sir Clarence had only proven his attachment to the Defoe manager, to, to the Defoe lineage almost one year ago. And since then, uh, he, had, he had been renovating the long-abandoned family mansion in preparation of his marriage to Julia. The police have already declared the tragedy as a murder-suicide, although uh, many have insisted that Sir Clarence was incapable of such an act, murdering his own fiance. Hmm. The debate rages on while the fate of the house and family fortunes remains unclear. Back to you, Janice. This is Peter Daltrey from BBC News, Defoe Manor. Thank you, Peter! Our top stories again? Minister? Oh, I guess that's it. Huh. Okay. Well, we're getting a little bit of lore. So how did they die, though? So murder-suicide, but in what capacity? I- I-, I by gun? Gunfire? I fear that it would swallow me whole. Hmm, alright, well, better things have happened. <laughs> Hey. Huh. Oh. Oops. It's about time you showed up. Huh? I'm... sorry? 
And well, you should be. I've been stuck in this house for days. Where's the way out? I'm sorry, I don't understand. You are the guy who owns this place, right? Uh, no, I'm a thief. Oh, so how'd you get in here? Well, a window on the second floor. Is it still open, man? No, no, I'm afraid it's quite jammed shut. Damn! Oh, well, looks like the house has a new guest then. I hope no more turn up. We've only got five chairs. If you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. What is- Uh, pardon for a minute. Who are you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Hardy's the name. Philip Hardy. You can call me Phil. And you are? Oh, I'm Trilby. Mr. Trilby, I'm afraid you're now a prisoner. Like me, like everyone else in the house. A prisoner? Don't ask me why, but once you get in the house, the house won't let you leave. I've tried all the doors and the windows. None of them open. The garden wall's unclimbable, and I can't tunnel under it. But why? Who's keeping us here? Have you tried? Beats the hell out of me. Whoever it is, they will certainly not be safe from my fists once I get out of here. I'm gonna fuck them up real bad. <laughs> so if there's something you're not telling me, now would be a real good time to uh, get it off your chest, Mr. Trilby. Well, I can assure you, I completely am mystified. How many more people are in this place? Only three more. First, there's Jim, the youngest. Turned up just after I did. Uh-huh. He's a good kid, after all. Second is Simone Taylor. You probably know her off the telly. She's a correspondent for the BBC. She came here to make some kind of a documentary, I think, but... Now she's stuck in here, with us. Lastly, there's AJ. Skinny bloke with a stash. He won't tell us who he is or where he came from. All I know is that he's been here longer than anyone. Nearly a whole week. Hmm, I feel like I've already met him. Ah, oh, what a heartwarming story. Anyway, why don't you see if you can track them all down? Yeah, great, okay. I'm calling a house meeting in the lounge. Spread the word. I trust you'll enjoy your stay at Defoe Manor, Mr. Trilby. I still don't quite understand. Just find the others and tell them to meet up in the lounge. We can discuss things properly then. Right. Okay. Hear no evil, speak no evil, let's all look around. Um, that w what an odd exchange. Also, have you tried just smashing a window? Uh, this is more like car boat sail material. Okay. I'm not sure I want these pictures. They're more than a little sickening. The antlers wouldn't fit inside of my blazer. Yeah, no kidding. What's this? Even if I wanted that ugly thing, which I don't, I'd have to break the glass to get to it. Fire? Hmm. Maybe I need to look at things. A glass bell jar containing a rather hideous looking wooden doll. Idol. Evidently, someone fancies themselves as a big game hunter. Or maybe they just fancy themselves. A very old sepia photograph of a man in explorer's gear standing over a dead tiger. The label reads, Sir Roderick Tames a Vicious Beast. The gun he's holding looks a lot like the one over the fireplace. This photograph portrays a native bear in an aggressive stance before a very wary looking lion. The label reads, Savage vs. Savage. It's an ancient picture of two men in full hunting gear. The label reads, Sir Roderick and Carstairs. A very old photograph of a small collection of straw huts. The label reads, A Native Village. Now, I'm no expert on guns, but... I think that's a late 18th century musket rifle. Standard issue of the British Army of that period. But I'm no expert. 
So it's not enough to kill animals in Africa. He has to come and do it in Canada too. Not the Canadian moose. All right, fine. Let's uh, focus on finding the others. I'm here and, and, and I'm queer and I should do a, a, a fast, speedy job at this probably. All right, Simone, AJ. What was the, the kid's name? Was it Timothy? Tim, Tommy, Riley, Jacob. Line's dead. Yeah, but what's under, is there something under the phone? Look. Newspaper. Looks like an edition of the local rag. The rag, is that what people call it? Ew, why are they so weird? No, 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 Trilby, the door, the door. Yes. Uh, portrait? It's too big to carry, right, 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 right. Ooh. <laughs> All right, this is gonna get up to be a pain in the ass. It's a pleasantly professional quality portrait of a bearded man in a Victorian explorer's outfit. A little plaque at the bottom reads Sir Roderick Defoe. Okay. A nicely varnished oak dining table probably brought in from Ikea. <laughs> These windows are all so dirty, it's impossible to see through them clearly. Okay. Door. God damn it, nobody's fucking around. Evidently, no one cares if I starve in this place. Nobody went shopping. Great. Stove? Maybe if I had something to cook, but I don't. Cupboards? Nothing. Salt? <laughs> it's too big to carry around with me, but if I ever need lethal quantities of salt, I'll know where to look. Cabinet. Okay. Jesus, anybody? I didn't think it would be this hard to find people. What, no, what's what's on the what's on the gr what's on the ground? What's on the ground? Look with your eyes. A single dead twig. It must have come off the tree. Can I grab it? Can I can I got item? Pushing the tree makes the upper branches sway a little. Oh, what fun! Oh. Okay. Evidently, I can't. All right, keep it moving. That's locked, nice. You can read that newspaper. Well, I've tried. Oh, oh, is this where he was trying to tunnel? I don't wanna get dirt under my fingernails. Okay, look, we... Come on. No, I... Trilby, walk back. Come on. Thank you. Come on. We have to go read the newspaper. And we have to go find some people. I am <laughs> doing a really bad job at getting anything successful done here. When you wish upon a star All right, you guys think I can grab Le Newspaper? Should always keep abreast of the day-to-day -day events in this world. Newspaper. Uh, look. Newspaper. It's a copy of the local paper, dated last Friday. Heir to Defoe Estates found dead! Sir Clarence Defoe, last of the long-running Defoe line, was found dead yesterday in his home. Defoe, age 24, was found hanging from a tree in the front of the yard of Defoe Manor. Oh! Oh, it was a hanging! His recent bride, Julia Swanson Defoe, was also found dead in the mansion, apparently stabbed to death. Okay, well, no guns required. A big old stabbing and a big old hanging. Inspector Jacob Barnes, the officer in charge of the investigation, is close to the case. There's no mystery here, he said. Defoe killed his wife and then himself. We have already disproved the possibility of a third party. 
Sir Clarence's solicitor, Michael Chesham, however, has gone on record questioning the inspector's judgment. The last I saw Sir Clarence, he was infinitely content. He would never have committed such an act. Plus, there was no suicide note. Hmm. My grappling hook launcher made it to look like an umbrella. Oh. He's a real inspector gadget, I see. All right, let's go up the stairs. Uh, have any of these opened, perchance? Like, because if not, what the fuck am I supposed Oh, hi, hello, person? I'm not in the mood for picking- Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Let's not grab her. Let's talk. Ma'am, what are you doing to that door? Uh, pardon me, madame. What? Oh, hello. Philip mentioned we had a new guest. You're Simone Taylor, right? Yes. You must have seen me on the telly. And you are? I'm Trilby. You got a first name, Trilby? No. Hey, wait a second. Not the cat burglar, Trilby. Oh, wow! I presented a crime watch special on you once. That I did. Oh, man, I wish I had a camera right now. Oh, the things I could do. This could be huge. You wouldn't consent to an interview, would you? Madame, even if I did have a sudden retarding brain injury that would cause me to do so, I think we have bigger problems at the moment. Isn't our apparent imprisonment slightly more urgent a matter? Well, I admit I thought so the first day I was here, but I've been here four days now. I really think I'm learning a lot about this place. If I could just get these infernal doors open... Philip's calling a house meeting in the lounge. Yes, that's so like him to do when a new face appears. I'll see you later, Mr. Chilby. <laughs> All right, Simone, it was nice to meet you. Damn, girl, that's a long ass skirt. We gotta get her uh, on what not to wear. All right. Hmm, rather strange woman. Yeah, you're telling me. Did she unlock the door though? Did she get it open? No, she did not. Uh, okay, so I found one of three people. That's, that's not great. Where the fuck is everybody else? Where even did Philip go? Did anybody go back in here? No? Nine? Bits again? I'm dumbfounded. No, no, Trilby! Trilby! <laughs> oh man, the joys of point and click adventuring. Downstairs. Alright, we, we might. We might have to do a couple of laps, friends. Anybody? Jesus, fuck. Hmm. Did you try opening the garage outside? Um, I tried opening a shed. Was the shed of the garage or is there a different garage? Garage. Let me go back. The shed. Yeah, the shed was locked. So the shed didn't really do us much good. Huh. Locked. Hey! Oh, oh! You, what, what? Hey. Uh, talk? Hello? Is there someone up in the tree? Oh, oh. Oh, hi! You're new! Have you come to set us free? No, apparently I'm a prisoner now, too. I'm guessing you must be Jim. What were you doing in the tree? Oh, Jim, not Tim. I thought I might be able to get over the wall. 
you know? But the tree is too far away. And there's this ravine just outside the wall, too. You'd probably kill yourself if you tried. Uh, so I understand. Philip wants us all to meet up in the lounge, okay? Oh, okay. I'll head there now, then. All right, Jim. Nice to meet you. Wow, he's a twink. Um, okay, so that's two down. Chat? AJ? Is there an AJ? AJ? Where are you hiding on me, bubs? Is there anywhere else to even go? AJ? AJ? Man, if I had something that I could pick locks with, that would sure come in handy. Uh... AJ? Mm. Hmm. What about this window? Jammed shut. No, 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 stop, stop, back, naughty, no, stop, down, da no, Trilby, <laughs> Jesus, fuck, uh, chat, <laughs> anybody got a hint for me, where the fuck is AJ, oh, ah, our new arrival is graces with his presence, yeah, I'm still trying to find AJ, I expect there's a lot you want to know. Join the club. Okay. So let me see if I've got this all clear in my head. Yeah. You're all trapped in this house by the same- by some invisible intelligence. That's right! And you can't leave. Nope! And as soon as I entered, I became trapped too. Pretty much. Why? Why would anyone want to keep us prisoner here? Uh, maybe they're just lonely. No, if they wanted company, they'd have shown themselves. Maybe they have. Maybe one of us is behind all this. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Philip! Why would any of us want to trap a load of people here and pretend we didn't? It simply doesn't make any logical sense. I don't know, do I? I don't speak loony. Look, we mustn't squabble amongst ourselves. Hampered by paranoia and suspicion, we'd only hinder each other. I suggest we assume for now that we are all innocent. Well, I agree with that. Hmm. We five, including AJ. Where is that bloke anyway? I couldn't find him anywhere. I saw him just after I arrived, but he ran away from me. Hmm. That's rather odd. Listen, Mr. Trilby. We work as a team in this house. That's sort of how it's been since it started around here. So we all have to share information with one another, you know? That means no secrets. So why did you come to this house? Uh, I came to rob it. <laughs> yeah, he's a burglar. Why do you even have to ask? Well, I didn't come here to take part in some bizarre Big Brother event, that's for sure. <laughs> Is there anything you want to know about this house that would help? Yeah, what's up with your spaghetti arms? <laughs> Anything at all, Mr. Trilby? I don't... I doubt I know much more than any of you. All I know is that the last air just died and it's supposed to be empty. Right. Hmm. I guess you're not much of a help then, huh? I suppose an extra pair of hands is always useful, though. I'm still not completely clear on a few details. Do I get to ask you all some questions now? Of course! Just ask us anything you like. Great. Okay, it's time to grill these people. Let's have at it. Uh, talk. All right, Simone. Miss Taylor. Yes! Uh, 
What do you know about the mansion? Well, I've heard some pretty disturbing stories about it, darling. Oh, here we go. There's been stories of weird happenings around for it decades now. Ever since the first disappearance of the original owner and his son. People have gone missing in the area, around the house, more than anywhere else in the country, can you believe it? People from all walks of life. <laughs> People like us. Um, hey, don't say that. Right, so how did you come to be here? I only came down here for a documentary. There's been a lot of interest in old ghost stories lately. We figured something on Defoe Manor would pull in the ratings. What with it being spooky season and all. Hmm, and not because it would ju and not because it would make interesting viewing. <coughs> oh. That's why I hate the television. Excuse me! I was talking. I arrived here before the camera crew. And I was supposed to wait for them. But I just couldn't resist taking a walk around the grounds. Next thing I knew, I was in the backyard. I looked all over, but I couldn't find a way back to the front. Hmm. It was my own fault, really. You're very casual about that. Okay. Um... What happened to the camera crew? I have no idea. They probably just left when I never showed up. Wow. I'm sort of glad they didn't get mixed up into this too. Yeah, but doesn't that sound kind of awful for you? Your, your, your employees, your fellow colleagues just fucking left? Uh, tell me a bit about yourself, if you don't mind. Oh, that's so sweet of you to ask, Connie. Oh, we're in for it now. I'm a correspondent for the BBC, but you probably already knew that, because I'm famous. I'm afraid I don't watch much television, madam. Oh. Well, I do outside broadcasts for the news, mainly. Sometimes I present documentaries on a vari or variety shows. Whenever I'm needed, really. Very much a Jill of all trades. Right, okay, that's all I wanted to know. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> All right, uh, Philly, let's chat, you and I. Mr. Hardy. Yes, Mr. Chilby. Uh, how much do you know about the mansion? I know plenty. I read an article about this month's treasure hunting monthly. monthly. It was built by some explorer guy, Sir Roger Defoe, something like that. His wife died giving birth, and his son went missing sometime later. Hmm. Well, maybe the article could tell you better than I could. Here, I'll let you borrow it. Oh, thanks. Just don't mess it up too much. It's for my scrapbook. Yeah, okay. Uh, how did you come to be here? Well, I came here to look for some uh, artifacts, you could say. And I'm sure you had the full consent of the Defoe solicitors to do so. Yeah, honey, why don't you shut up? I just heard some old family tomb somewhere under the building. I mean, like, real old. Anything inside probably doesn't belong to anyone, so I figure finders keepers, you know? I managed to call in a few favors to get over the ravine and back the wall. And the back wall. Then, of course, I couldn't get back out again. Nice. Uh, how many people know that you're here? A handful, I suppose. They wouldn't get suspicious till I go missing for months, though. Wow. Good quality friends. Hmm. Okay, well, why don't you tell me just a bit about yourself? About me, huh? Well, I'm in what you'd call the import-export business. You're a thief! I'm not a thief, actually. I'm a treasure hunter. I only take what belongs to dead people, you see. Since they're not using it, you know? Our new friend there. He's a thief. I am a gentleman. <laughs> True, but I'm also a gentleman. And I only take what I'm sure that no one's using, too. I'm sure that's a great comfort to them. <laughs> that's all I wanted to know. Righto. 
All right, Jimbo, what's your deal? Oh, yeah? What do you know about the mansion? Oh, not really much. Oh, we could always just about see the roof over the playground wall, you know? Wait, j playground? We also used to tell each other it was haunted. Jim, how old is Jim? Huh? Were there any stories or legends attached to these? Well, a friend of mine used to say a crazy hermit lived there. Who, like, you know, killed people and ate them alive? Huh, well, I'm certainly reassured. Jim is making me concerned. All right, how did you come to be here? Oh, it was so stupid, dude. So he climbed over the school wall at lunchtime. All right. Why? It was a dare. We were going to see how long it would take the school to find us, you know? And then we come across this old house, right? And Richard totally dared me to knock on the door. He bet me a pound I wouldn't do it. Yeah, my school was like that. Broke my collarbone playing pylon once. Shut up, Philip! <laughs> so what happened next? Well, I was about to knock down the door. Well, I mean, knock on it. But then it just, like, opened all by itself. I heard Richard dare me to take a step inside. And, like, you know, there was a pound on the line. So you did and the door closed behind you. And then it wouldn't open again? Yeah. Hmm. Your friends didn't call the police or anything like that? I don't know. Maybe. I guess they didn't, though, since nobody ended up coming for me. Yeah, that was on Wednesday. The school probably knows that I'm gone now. I see. So, uh... Tell me a little bit about yourself, Jimbo. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Where were you before you came here? I was at St. Trinian's boarding school. Not far from here. Been there since I was ten. My parents move around a lot, you see? How old are you now? I'm almost 16. No one talk about Jim ever again. He is not a chwink, he is a child. Anyone else see the pattern in all these stories? Which pattern would that be? It seems to me that the house only traps people individually. It didn't try to tra trap Jim's friends. Or Simone's camera crew. It's only letting people in the house one at a time. You're talking about the house like it's intelligent, dear. Surely there's more, it's more likely that there's just some joker behind all this. But how did they know we were coming? How did it know to leave a window open for me, risking one of you finding the open window? Yeah, that's sus. So wait, do you like think this house is haunted? Well, I wouldn't use that word, but I definitely have a very odd feeling. Like we're being watched, I suppose. Yeah, oh, maybe it is like Big Brother. Maybe this is one of Simone's raiding winners. Yeah. Excuse me? Well, locking up some people in a house against their will and secretly filming them? Sounds like reality TV to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. It's also highly illegal. Wouldn't stop some people. Just where the hell has AJ got to anyway? I was hoping he'd be here. He's been doing some research on the house. He was going to share it with us tonight. Hmm. Maybe someone should go look for him. What, now? It's getting pretty late. I do admit I'm beginning to feel tired. <laughs> yeah, me too. But what about AJ? I don't think there's any need to worry right now. If he still hasn't turned up by morning, we should go look for him. Guys, you're all in a fucking house. Oh, all right. But we look for him as soon as we get up. Day two? Wow, oh, okay, we're in day two, boys. Oh, hi, Trilby. What was that noise? I don't know. Oh my god! Well, this escalated way too fast. Simone, Philip, Jim, how could I have possibly have done anything wrong this fast? Who did this? AJ? What the fuck? Yo, 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 who are you? Stay back! I'm warning you. Who are you? Is 
that me? Oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Am I the killer? Christ! I've never dreamt so vividly before. It was so disturbing. Okie dog, Trilby. We're just gonna... We are just gonna gloss over that one. I guess it's fine. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's get our bearings straight and start looking around for people. Hello? Is anybody here? Is anybody okay? Wait! No, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! I want to turn on the telly. Maybe there's new news. Which also reminds me, I wanted to check out the, the other thing. Oh, top story this morning! Police are still baffled by the apparent disappearance of television personality Simone Taylor. Aw, oh, she made the news, you guys. Miss Taylor was due to film a documentary in the notorious Defoe Manor, but her camera crew reported that she never arrived. Have you guys thought to search the house? Police have been investigating the building, but so far have found no way to get inside. Oh my god, can the police not fucking smash a window? The Defoe family solicitor, Michael Chesham, has the only key to the building, and it's currently unavailable. So break down the door! Miss Taylor's disappearance coinciding with the disappearance of a local youth from a nearby boarding school. It simply adds to the legend surrounding the mysterious Defoe Manor. Reports! <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, a bunch of people have gone missing at the house. People are like, hmm, the house seems suspicious. Hmm, we can't seem to get in the house by opening the doors, but let's not break the door down. Okay. Let's, let's read this article. It's an article cut out from a magazine called Treasure Hunting Monthly. The Mystery of Defoe Manor. Defoe Manor, one of the country's more notoriously stately homes, is renowned for being a great source of untold wealth. But what is the curse that surrounds the creaking house? The mansion was built in the early 19th century by the legendary explorer Roderick Defoe in celebration of his retirement and marriage. Sir Roderick disappeared along with his only son on the 15-year anniversary of his wife's sudden death. After that, the house fell into the possession of a succession of heirs, most of whom died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances. The house was left abandoned after the last heir was thought to have died in 1946, until the recent appearance of Clarence Defoe, who managed to prove his connection to the lineage and inherit the house. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That card looks weird. Can we take it? What card? Hmm. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. All right, let's see if I can find some of my friends alive, perchance. Uh, let's start downstairs and work our way up. Uh... Shit. Table. Uh, look. What's this? Robert Louis Stevenson's seminal classic. Jim can't be older than 16, and he's wearing some mutation of a school uniform. Right. It's a portrait of an aging man in a safari suit. Right. The plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. Okay. Uh, talk. Jim? Jim! Hi, Mr. Trilby! Do you know where the others are? Well, I mean, I don't know where Mr. Hardy is. But Miss Taylor's up in the library. The library? Yeah, you know, on the second floor. I think she broke the door open or something, you know? Huh, thanks. Man, how is it that we're all trapped in a small house but we all insist on splitting up? Haven't you guys ever watched Scooby-Doo? Uh, what are you reading there? It's called Treasure Island. Uh, I found it in the living room. 
And, uh, how are you liking it? Well, it's a bit heavy going. Uh, I think I prefer Terry Pratchett. Okay. Have you seen AJ? Remember that man we're supposed to look for? Yeah, not since yesterday morning. He seemed pretty anxious about something, you know? Did he say why? Nah. Just said something about getting to the bottom of all of this. Great, great, great. Then he left the room and... Uh, I never saw him again. You people are all fucking weird as shit. How are you all gonna be trapped in a house, be like, all right, let's just casually split up, let's not really keep tabs on anybody in this house, and when somebody goes missing for more than a day, we'll just be like, hmm, huh, yeah, I wonder what they're doing. First of all, this isn't even that big of a house. It's two stories, there's like seven rooms maybe, maximum, maybe eight, I don't know. So like, what the fuck? It's like you guys are trying to all get killed. Uh, how are you feeling? Well, I had this really horrible dream. Uh, but you don't really want to hear about it. You're taking this imprisonment thing, imprisonment thing very well, I must say. Yeah, you're telling me. Well, it's not that different from boarding school, really. I'm kind of used to prison. Except there's no one to hit you across the knuckles when you talk too much at night. Jesus, fuck, what year is this? Okay, that's all. Oh, I can still ask you know where the others are. Okay, no, it's all the same. All right, that's all. Thanks. All right, so Simone is in the library. Why don't we go look for her? <laughs> I guess the plan is to just talk to our friends. Upstairs, Trilby. I think the library was the next one. Well, I mean, the next one is the one she was working on. Try this door. No, it's still locked. Simone, what the fuck? This is the bathroom. Uh, so maybe the library is one of these two doors. Oh yeah, this is different. Yeah, this one's broken. Hi, Simone. Let's uh chat you up, okay? Hey, Miss Taylor. Oh, hello, Mr. Chubby. Do you know where the others are? Well, Philip said he was going into the garden. Great. I don't know where Jim is. And AJ's still missing. Great, thanks for all your help. <laughs> How'd you sleep? To be honest, I didn't really. I had this terrible dream. Someone had killed you, and Philip, and Jim. I remember a huge guy wearing a welding mask. Let me guess, he took off the mask and looked exactly like you. Uh, no. He actually looked exactly like you! What do you think it means? Uh, frankly, I don't think I want to know. Wow. Okay. Gaslight, girl boss, fuck me. Uh, so did you break the lock on the door? No, I just came up here like, and it was already like that. I suppose AJ must have done it. Oh. He must have been reading from that pile of books. I don't know exactly. I'd have to ask him. Okay. So I take it AJ hasn't turned up yet. No. Do you think he found a way out? If he did, he didn't have the decency to tell us about it. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised. He's kind of jumpy like that. Maybe he just saw an opportunity and took it? Right. Maybe. How are you holding up? Huh. Spam me the gallantry. I'm just fine. Okay. Uh, what do you know about AJ, actually? Well, not very much. He refused to tell us anything about himself. Where he came from? Why he came here? Not even his full name. Don't you find that kind of suspicious? Do you think he had some kind of agenda? I mean, I really wouldn't know. Of course. You're no one to judge when it comes to withholding names, Trilby. Heh. <laughs> um, Simone, aren't you a journalist? Shouldn't you be doing better at, like, extracting information from people? Anyways, let's look. 
Evidently, someone's been doing a little research here. Uh, Delia's How to Cook series. The 1988 edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica, with Wagner to Woodlouse Missing. Hmm, the W's. Wagner to Woodlouse. A collection of old roadmaps and atlases, probably tragically out of date. A complete, unabridged Oxford English Dictionary. These things don't come cheap. Lovingly bound textbooks on gardening. Books on the occult. Wow, okay. Some of P.G. Wodehouse's best. A sun-bleached skull, probably placed here to add a gothic ambiance. Books on photography, cartooning, and watercoloring. Several volumes of something called the Digest of Visual Arts. So, um, historical text on most of the recently well-known families. Okay, so is there nothing for me to... Can, can I grab any of these? I can't think of a use for any of these books at the moment. Okay, I guess not. All right, fine. Moving on. Okay, so Philip is in the garden. Let's go outside. Hi, Jim. You just chill there. You just read your book. Everything's fine. Daddy's going to get us out of this. Philip! Philly, Philly, baby. La da dee, la da doo, la da dum. Does this count as the garden? Oh, hi, Phil. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, is that a walking stick? Uh, Mr. Hardy. Well, look who's up. Have you seen the others? Last I saw Jim, he was in the dining room. Don't know about the Taylor woman, though. Right, thanks. Okay. Uh, do you know if AJ's turned up at all? Have you seen him? Not to my knowledge, no. In fact, I don't think we'll ever be seeing him again. Uh, why not? Well, if this is some kind of reality TV stunt, he must have been in on it. Maybe he's gone to file reports on how all the hidden cameras are working. Oh. I honestly doubt this is the work of the BBC, Philip. Are you feeling okay? Do you have a better explanation? Well, not yet, but yours sounds stupid. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a metal detector. Oh, what are you doing with the metal detector? It's actually part of the plan to get out of here, you see. Oh, good. I've heard there's some kind of family tomb buried somewhere under the ground. If I can find it, there might be another way to the surface. And I presume any family valuables they have down there would be an unexpected bonus. Hey, judge not lest... Judge... Uh, uh, oh, you're a cat burglar, for God's sake. Watch your judgments. At least I have a sense of priorities, man. Well, when you found an escape route and saved us all, I'll be sure to apologize profusely. Wow, it's two burglars out burglaring each other. All right, great. How do you know that the tomb's there? What are you... Wh where is this knowledge coming from? I don't. That's what the metal detector's for. Oh. How do you know there's anything to detect? Where did you get a metal detector? It's probably full, full of stone and corpses. Actually, you'd be surprised how much metal can be found in a tomb, you see. Belt buckles, coffin handles, candlesticks, gold, silverware... Are you implying something? Oh, goodness me, no. Listen, hey, uh, the tomb on the other could be on the other side of the grounds, so just so you know. You could be wasting your time. Well, sure, but this is as good a place to start as any. I mean, I'm literally stuck here. Until I see some compelling evidence for its location, I'll just continue my systematic sweep. Great, you, 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 you do that. Uh, hey, now that we're bros... Could I borrow your metal detector? <laughs> and what do you want it for? I don't really know. Brilliant. Well, I'll give you a shout when I'm finished with it. Okay. I just feel like it's... In point-and-click adventures, it's a good idea to have items. Uh, hey, are you finished with that metal detector? <laughs> no. You can have it when I found the tomb. Okay. 
Are you finished with the metal detector? No, okay, okay. Um, are you the guy who dug up half the lawn here? I was trying to dig my way out of this place, but the ground gets real solid two feet down, and the wall foundation goes even further. Hmm, well that would explain the, ho the holes nearest to the walls, but what about the ones not near the walls? All right, you caught me. I was looking for treasure. You happy now? You want some kind of metal? Yes, the detector. <laughs> Just professional interest, that's all. You understand. Hmm. Found some kind of pipeline running under the lawn, but not much else. Gotcha. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. And when I find a way out, I'll be even better. Are you finished with the metal detector? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll see you around. Alright, so I've talked to all of my people, so now what the fuck do I do? Use. Let's leave. Let's... F Trilby! Jesus fucking Christ. Walk, my guy. Let's leave. Hmm. Is the shed open? Nope. That is a negative. Still can't seem to find AJ. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. All right, so we checked the library. Check this room. Anything new? Still won't open. Okay. No interest in books. Fuck reading. Uh That window's jammed shut. Only person in here is Simone. Does she have anything new to say? No. See you later. <laughs> Come hither. Both of those doors are still locked. There is nothing really in the bathroom. Oh, the whispering is a little bit unsettling. <laughs> that window's jammed shut. Phone? Line's dead. Door? Still locked. Was that here yesterday? Uh, maybe there's nothing on it. Uh, uh, huh. I'm really at an impasse here. What am I supposed to do? It's just ornamental. Where the fuck is this AJ guy? Maybe check the tree again? Uh, do you have anything new to say? Hey, Jim. 
No, never mind. You're you're fine. <laughs> Go in here. Maybe use an item in conversation. I don't have a lot of items. I've got the article. I got the newspaper. Maybe I could talk about the article with Philip again, because he seemed to be into, he gave me the article. Maybe I can give the article back to him. I guess it's worth a shot. I do feel like I need to get that metal detector. Uh, use article Philip. No, he says he might need it. Use newspaper Philip. I may need it. Uh, talk Philip. Hmm, I see you around, bubs. Uh, walk. Maybe I missed something in the library. I tried to look around. It felt like, like, I feel like the library would be a place where I'd want to get, like, a book, right? But I tried clicking, and from my clicking that I did, it didn't seem like I could pick up a book. But the library is our new room of the day. You know? I mean, I could certainly try using these things on other people. Like, does Jim care about the article? No, it doesn't work. Uh, does Jim care about the news? He's a teenager, probably not. Okay. Upstairs. All the way. Simone. Uh, do you care about the article? Do you care about the news? Do you want to take an umbrella up the ass? Uh, use. Can I take the skull? I don't want the nasty thing. Do you want the plant? Do you want a book? Do you want books? Do you want to look at books? Apparently someone's been doing research. Shelf is nothing but photo albums. Can I look at the photo albums? Huh. I am really in a bit of a pickle here. Desk. Meaningless paperwork. The picture's too bulky. We go up here. It's empty. Uh, Chad, anybody got any advice? <laughs> the fuck? I, either of these doors want to open at any point in time? No. No. Bought it, Samer. Not the sort of cat burglar who leaves taps running, right? Look. An ordinary rug. I the the rug feels mad sus. Hint: search the library. Girl, are you about to gaslight me like I haven't searched this fucking library top to bottom? I fucking put my eye over all of the books. I thought. Look, she's a library. We look all around the library. 
We look at everything in the library. Uh, that's Simone Taylor. Books on the occult. Complete dictionary. 1988 Brit Britannica. 1988 Britannica. 19 How to cook. Collection of old roadmaps. Collection of old roadmaps. Historical texts. Text, texts. So, so, so kindly, anybody, if anybody can tell me what you, what I'm missing, uh, I am all ears. Think of no use. Can think of no use. I think it's about time I read up on the default. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. I searched everything. So wait, did I just pick up a, uh, God damn it. This is why point and click adventures went out of style. <laughs> All right, family history. A history of the Defoe family, volume seven. Roderick Defoe. Later, Sir Roderick Defoe is probably the most famous of the lineage. Using a lot of the inheritance he attained when his parents died suddenly, he embarked on a series of adventures throughout the globe, earning quite a reputation as a colonial explorer. He retired from adventuring at the age of 40 when he met his future bride, Belinda Rothman, and fell instantly in love. He built a luxury manor in the English countryside, and the couple moved in as soon as work was complete. By all accounts, the couple were deliriously happy, which is what made Belinda's sudden death while giving birth to their only son, Matthew, all the more tragic. Sir Roderick was in mourning for a long time, leaving the upbringing of Matthew in the hands of numerous nannies and tutors. Oh. Do you think he, like, blamed his son for his wife's death? If his wife, if Belinda died giving birth, and then he had passed off his son to, like... Because you would think a father would, like, if, he, if you lost your wife, you would think, like, the offspring of your wife would be, like... I feel like some people will be like, oh, that's all I have left of my wife. And so you might like throw yourself completely in your child. But it sounds like he literally threw his child off to, to an au pair or a handful of au pairs. When he finally did start taking an interest in his son, he was known to be bitterly disappointed as his son rejected the idea of joining the army, preferring to pursue art and literature. Oh, God. <laughs> Defoe looked at his son and said, Oh, you fucking queer! <laughs> As Matthew neared the age of 15, however, he and his father seemed to grow closer. They didn't always see I... Ooh. Sorry. Ugh. They didn't always see eye to eye, but they seemed to understand each other and offer unconditional love. Okay, so it seems like they were getting better. And then, on Matthew's 15th birthday, he and Roderick disappeared. A servant found bloodstains in one of the rooms, but no bodies were ever found. The fate of Sir Roderick and his wayward son remains a mystery to this day. The first of many mysteries. The first of many mysterious disappearances connected to the Defoe line and the family house. Huh. Okay. Hey, Simone, do you want to talk about this book with me? No? That's fine. Um, is there more reading I can do, or is that it? Because now I don't fucking know anymore. I don't know, maybe that, maybe that unlocked it. Maybe now we can, uh... Maybe now we can get the metal detector. Nope, stop! Hi, Jim. <laughs> Bye, Jim. <laughs> Philip! Are you finished with that metal detector? <laughs> Have you finished those errands yet? Please, 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 are you done? Damn it! Fuck! <laughs> He's not done. Philip, do you want to talk about this book? 
No? Great. Fuck me. Uh, maybe Jim wants to talk about the book. He looks like a learned guy. Ugh. I was hoping that was going to be it. All right. Come on. Come on. Can I pick up stick? Still can't pick up stick. You weren't done with the library. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting PTSD from the library from 999. Why do libraries suck so much? Why is there so much shit? Alright. Uh, library. Oh, I forgot to say hi to Jim. Alright, what other, what other books can I grab? I'm using my use. I'm clicking on everything. Can't think of what to use with these books. Can you look, can you think of what to use with these books? These books? These books? These books? These books? These books? These ones? These ones? These ones? These ones? No? Oh. My. God. I'm going to flip a bitch. I can't think of a use. I can't think of a use. I can't think of a use. Guys. I don't even care anymore. You, you can be explicit. What the fuck am I supposed to click on in the library? I don't get it. Can't think of a use. Can't think of a use. Oh my god. Okay, we got a map. Uh, <laughs> it's a very old architectural plan of Defoe Manor. There's Defoe Manor with the underground tomb clearly marked as being under the front yard. Well. No, it's not that. There's something here that doesn't belong. Something I don't really recall seeing in the house. Site of underground tomb. All right, so this is the backyard, so I guess we can tell Philip. All right, so now we can tell Philip that he's wasting his time. Great. Good news, something you don't recall seeing. So here's the living room. You move over to like the couch room. I'm uh, sorry, the foyer. Foyer, maybe? Living room, television room, fireplace room. Jim's room, well, the dining room. Kitchen, which goes into the backyard. And then there's stairs out of the kitchen. Where do those go? And then there's a second floor, which has four rooms and then the bathroom. Okay. Good news. We have what we need, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hi, Jim. Bye, Jim. Ugh, parents are always walking in on me. All right, let's go. Yeah, 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 there's no stairs here. All right, so we'll have to figure that out at some point. But before we figure that out, let's go ruin Philip's dreams. Hey, yo, Philip, I've got news for you. Take a look at this. Mr. Hardy, I found this old map in the library. Did you? Yeah, take a look. The tomb is quite clearly under the front yard, you dumb sack of shit. <laughs> but this is the backyard. There's no way into the front yard. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Well, thanks a bunch, buddy. Don't mention it. Are you finished with that metal detector now? <laughs> uh, take away my hopes, you might as well take away my only worldly possession too. A metal detector? Your only worldly possession? The fuck? All right, cool, so we have it. What do I do with it? Where do I even begin? I guess at all the holes? I 
I wouldn't know where to begin. I need a starting point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, he was looking at a line here, right? Use metal detector on metal. I can track where this pipeline leads with the metal detector. The trail ends here. So what... What do I do? Hands? Dig? I don't want to get dirt under my nails. Well, Trilby, it's life or death here. What am I supposed to do? I don't even have the metal detector anymore. Look. Someone's done a real number on this lawn, digging their way out. No, okay, great. Wait, what am I? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, and what have we here? Phillips laborings must have covered it up. Okay. No, Trilby. Trilby, panel, panel, Trilby. Panel, panel. Hmm, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh. Maybe it didn't seem to, but maybe it did. Let's check. Uh, I was hoping maybe it drained the pool. Walk. No, use. Door. That's still locked. Did we unlock stairs maybe? No. Uh, maybe it does drain the pool, and because I clicked it twice, I, like, refilled the pool? Hey, let me go back to the panel again. Because it, it, it's the panel for the pipe, and the pipe is connected to the pool. Didn't seem to do anything. Go to pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drain the pool, boys. All right, use ladder. Oh, God, Christ. Oh, Christ. AJ? Oh, his, this is definitely the man I met on the landing. Presumably, AJ. Looks like someone tied him to an iron hook at the bottom of the pool. But he's also bloody. Did he drown? I think he was dead before then. Yeah, no, he was. his throat was slashed. It's been split open by some large-edged weapon. God, the stench! I've got to find the others. Man, why was the pool not full of Dead?! How?! Murdered! He was stabbed to death, then tied to the bottom of the pool. No, he was actually slashed. Oh my god! You know what this means, don't you? We are the only ones in the house. One of us is a killer! The killer has to be one of us. Not necessarily. I don't think any of us could engineer. Shut up! It was you, wasn't it? You killed AJ, and now you're covering your tracks. Philip, you're being a bit absurd. He's covering his tracks. He was the last to arrive. Don't tell me you're not a bit suspicious of him. Well, I, uh... Look. What happened to AJ was a terrible thing, no doubt about it. But if we let it tear us apart, we could all go the same way. He's got a point, Philip. Oh, I see. So you're all in on this together. Philip, shut up! As far as I'm concerned, there's no one I can trust anymore. How do we know you're not the murderer, Philip? From now on, it's every man for themselves. Philip! Idiot. He's shaken. We all are. Well, what do you think? About AJ, I mean? I'm not really sure. I think we're being haunted. Oh. Well, at least someone's keeping their head about things. Look, 
I'm not exactly in love with such an unscientific idea as a murderous ghost. Yeah, same. But nothing other than the supernatural could have engineered the situation. That is not very scientific of you at all. And this house does have a bad history. A history I think it's time I started looking into. Right, well, you do whatever you want. I think I'm going to go look into AJ's death with a slightly more sensible attitude. Right, okay, where's Jim? Is he still in the dining room reading his book? No, I think he went upstairs. Okay, great. I'll go look for him. Oh, Jim, please. Father? Jim? Jim, is that you? Jimmy! What are you doing, Father? Fa- what? Father, no! Father! Father! Hold on! Professor! Jim? Father. <laughs> oh! Mr. Trilby! Huh? Uh. Huh? <gasps> Pardon the f- Jim? Sorry, Mr. Trilby, but... You wanted me to wake you? T did I? Do you remember yesterday? You told me about AJ, then said you were going to look into the house? What? And then you asked me to wake you this morning so you could get started. Yeah, I remember. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, anytime, Mr. Trilby. Huh. Well, it is, uh, it's day three now, boys. <laughs> we are, we are flying through this. Let's, uh, I, I guess let's find our people and, and, and talk to them for the third day. Oh, no, we got to turn on the telly. What am I thinking? This morning, in other news, Michael Chesham, solicitor of Defoe Estates, was found dead this morning in his office. Son of a bitch, everybody's dying. How'd he die? He was found to have hanged himself, and a ruling of suicide has already been declared. Hmm, another suicide, huh? This is the latest in a recent string of deaths and disappearances connected to the mysterious Defoe Manor. Uh-huh. A string which began with the murder-suicide of Sir Clarence Defoe and his young wife, and has seen more recently the disappearance of BBC reporter Simone Taylor. Right. Police were hoping to acquire the key to Defoe Manor in order to investigate, but the location of the key was known only by Mr. Chesham himself. Numerous television stars have already come forward to pay tribute to Miss Simone as it has become increasingly apparent that Mr. B Simone Taylor disappeared. She must be dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Something tells me there wouldn't even be that much coverage if there wasn't a celebrity involved. Alright, is Simone really a celebrity? She's a news anchor. Let's calm down. Also, break into the fucking house, police. What are you doing? Don't you have a job to do? Alright, nobody's in here. Let me see if I can find my people. Da da. Da bum ba da bup. Hello? Is anybody around? Oh, Philip, hi. Oh. You look. Is the picture aging? It was like black hair before. It's a portrait of a wizened, bearded old man in a safari suit. The plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. Yeah, it's it's aging. It's like a fucking Harry Potter picture. Uh, all right, hang on. Let's uh, look. What what is what's on your table here? I don't see anything important. Well, we don't know that. All right, let's talk to Philip. Hi, Phil. Leave me alone, cat burglar. Right. Okay. Have you seen the others? <laughs> no. All I know is that they're not here bothering me, so why don't you join them? Great, you sound like a delight. What are you doing? None of your business! Are those maps of the house? <sighs> yeah, they're maps. After that, if I ever see your smug, pinstripe-wearing face again, it'll be a million years too soon. Look, none of us killed AJ. Can you calm down? Do you want to bet? You're over six foot. You could have done it easily. Maybe I could have, but I didn't. Prove it. 
You know I can't. I'm not an ace attorney. I'm an ace thief. You know, your attitude could be the death of us. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> it's certainly gonna be the death of you if you don't get out of my face. Fuck yeah. Burn. <laughs> Great. Uh... Hey, are you uh, feeling any better this morning? Oh, I'm just peaches. Now go away. All right, okay, well, uh, I'll leave you be. Hmm. Great. All right, bye, Philip. Good chat. Anybody outside? Oh, oh, what's this? I just found it here, dude. D do you know whose it is? A car? Yeah. It's mine. Ah, did you bring it here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard, and there's no way into the front yard. Huh. Hmm, maybe someone's trying to help us. Maybe. I'll go and find the others and let them know about it, okay? Yeah, sure, go ahead, I just... What the fuck? My car. Let's look at it. It's definitely my car. How it got to be here is something I certainly can't explain. Can I use it? Great. My lockpicks are here. Oh, my lockpicks! They must have fallen out of my pocket while I was getting out of the car. I'll hide an emergency pick in the lining of my tie like I usually do. Of course. We love that. Lock picks. Okay, so that means we must go open up the other doors. I feel like that makes the most sense at the given moment. Hi, Phil. Looking great, Phil. Happy to see you, Phil. I'm gonna go pick some locks, Phil. Like Lox's socks. All right, let's make some moves happen. Use lock picks on door. I think I did it, but it still won't open. There must be a deadbolt on the other side. Son of a fuck! Try this one. There we go, unlocked. All right, well, one for two, I'll take it. All right, go inside. Ooh, oh, oh, blood, yikes. All right, let's, let's get our bearings, let's look around. It's a rather nice piece of Victorian furniture. This must be the room Clarence Defoe had picked for himself and his wife. Ah, the master bedroom. A fairly understated nightstand. Funny, there seem to be some little scratches on the wall just under the window. Scratches? I thought it looked like blood. Uh, hang on, let's use. Open? No, open? Anything inside? No. Open this? Empty? Uh, do bed? I'm not sure I would feel right sleeping in a dead man's bed. Hmm, well, he's not using it. Empty. Well, what do you know? The window opened. Oh. Of course, since it overlooks the backyard, this doesn't help me much. Oh. Scratches? Look. It doesn't look like they were made by... It doesn't look like they were made by human fingernails? What the fuck does that mean? Are we about to play a game with a... a demon? Oh. Whoa. Look. It's a very old, very dead oak. This window must lead into the other locked room. Oh, I have to get across. The roof is tiled in an expensive red something. It's a tile that must have come away slightly during the rebuilding. The window must lead into the other room. 
Is this grapple hook time? It's a grappling hook for an umbrella. I hope this tile doesn't fall off. Well, I'm sure it would be highly amusing to grolly across the gap and slam heavily into the tree trunk. It would not be great help. Oh, do I have to get rid of the tree? Huh. The tree is in the way? No, go back inside. Okay. How do I, I need to get like an, like an ax? All right, where's Simone? We gotta find her. Eh, there's nothing in here. Hmm. Scratches that don't look like from they're from human. Oh, hi, Jim. <laughs> Doing some light reading, are we? You know, I co I've come to hate this place. Hey, Jim. Hey, yeah. What do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much research into the house as we can. Right. What are you doing? I'm just looking for stuff. On the house. To do research. Why? I don't really know. Yes, you do, Jim. Why? Oh. Because I want to help. I'm not sure what I could do, though. Aww. Would you like to tag along with me, kid? I can show you the ropes. Oh my god, I'm just like Phoenix Wright again. I, I, I'm taking on a mentee. I'm gonna teach him how to be an ace burglar. Um, I wasn't done talking to you, though. Have you seen Philip and Simone? Uh, Mr. Hardy's in the dining hall, shouting at everyone who comes in. Yeah, he's real moody today. Miss Taylor said she was investigating AJ. Okay, but investigating where? I don't know. Anyways, is Jim my buddy now? Is he gonna follow me around for real? Oh no, he's not. What? Jim, do you wanna tag along with me, right? No? I don't know, never mind. I thought you were following me. Uh, anyways, let's keep looking. Over here. Oh yeah, he is following me. Oh, but... Hi, Jim. Uh, maybe I can take Jim... Maybe Jim can help me cut down the tree? <laughs> maybe? Come along, Jim, we're going downstairs. <laughs> Me and my buddy, Jim and me, me and Jim, we're gonna, we're gonna do something. Um, oh, there's another lock I can pick probably, the shed, right? Maybe, let's try that. Also, AJ's corpse was in the pool, so maybe Simone is down in the pool, that makes sense. Alright, we'll look for her, but also, let me try something. Uh, use picks on door. There we go. Sick deal. All right, Jim, this is how you unlock a door. Look at this shit. We got, we got, we got a couple of things. We got a saw. And we got a pickaxe. All right, the pickaxe seems a little bit foreboding, but a saw is something we could probably use to cut down the tree, right? Uh, maybe. Tree. Look. An old-fashioned miner's pickaxe. It's a well-polished old two-man saw. All right, use saw on tree. Hey, hey, Jim. My, my buddy is tagging along. Give me a hand with this. Well, boys, we've done it. We've felled a tree. Uh, why did we cut the tree down, Mr. Trilby? 
Because fuck nature. Actually, I don't really know why. I just know that it makes me feel better. Because I want to hop across. Okay, cool. Uh, real quick, Jim, let's see if we can find Simone in the pool. Just see if she happens to be down here, perchance. Uh, are you going down there, Mr. Trilby? Are you coming? No, I feel like I'd rather sit this one out. I'll go do some more research in the library. Oh, but Jim, we were- God damn it, I should have- I should have never gone in the pool. Fuck. Hi, Simone. I see you're just, uh, here staring at the body. That's not creepy at all. All right, let's talk to her. Yo, bitch. Oh, Chibi! How's the ghost hunt going? Do you know where the others are? Kind of an irrelevant question, because I know where the others are. <laughs> um... Someone brought my car into the backyard. Yes, I noticed that. It's your car, isn't it? Yeah, I just said that. Did you bring it in here? I'm just glad to see a bit more color about the place. Right. Yo, what are you doing? Or how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. You're not too shaken about AJ? I don't have time to be shaken about AJ. Whoever did this to him might still be around. Once we're safely out of harm's way, then I'll think about being shaken. Right. Uh, what are you doing? I'm investigating. Like we all should be doing. And what did you conclude? Well, I found his wallet. He had ID for almost every government agency I can think of. Everything from MI6 to CID. I don't know what that is. I think he must have been sent to investigate the house. Some kind of a secret mission. That's why he never told us anything about himself. Well, that would certainly make sense. I'd say this constitutes a pretty spectacular failure of that mission. Any clues on who did it? He must have been a pretty big fellow, I think. Someone who was armed with a large slashing weapon, like a machete. Oh, I also found a piece of leather. Leather? Like Philip's jacket? No, it wasn't black, it was brown leather, like from an old-fashioned blacksmith's apron. There was a torn off piece in AJ's hand. Hmm. Alright, thanks for the info, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> have fun down here in the pool. I intend to leave this saw-looking trap. That's fine, though. Let's go... Let's go play my grapple hook. <laughs> That's something I can do. Did it say destroy the house? I'm not going to be doing anything with my bare hands. Is this where we use pickaxe? Hidden- Hello? Hidden stairs? Knock, knock! Boom. Oh my god, I'm really a psychopath. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Wow, there- Suddenly this house has really opened up. We've got a lot to explore. Oh shit, it is 8.55. God damn it, we're gonna have to wrap- Oh! Oh, there's music here. We are gonna have to wrap up soon. No, stay. Chains. Are these manacles? What the hell was this room used for? Your guess is as good as mine. Can I use them? They're quite firmly attached to the wall. Is there anything else to look at? I don't know what else I can do in here. Huh. Uh. Okay. That's a suspicious room. Ooh, the music is following me. Okay, well, there's still one more thing I need to look at before we call it a day. I got- I gotta do my grapple hook. Hi, Phil! Phil, I unlocked the music. Are you happy? It's- it's just getting good. I can't stop now. We're finally getting somewhere. So we have to go this way. Here. 
here, out the window. Grapple hook, use. Nice. Use, window, go, in. Huh, a child's room. It's an identical wardrobe to the one in the other bedroom. An artist's easel with a blank canvas. How philosophical. It's a very old Victorian era stuffed bear. A single bed, maybe this room has been left as a spare or something. No, it's for a child. A rather understated nightstand. All right, let's start looking around. Empty wardrobe. I'm not very tired. No, the teddy. Uh, why the hell not? All right, so we took the bear. There's nothing here but this old diary. Can I read it? Diary. The Secret Diary of Matthew Defoe, the Teenager. June 28th, 1814. Today is my 18th birthday. Nanny said I would soon be a big, strong man like my father. I wanted to see him today, but he wouldn't come out of his study all day. Nanny says he always gets cross on this day, but it's not because of me. June 28th. So maybe that's the anniversary of the wife's death. And it's his 18th birthday. Okay. August 5th, 1817. I found a new friend. He's behind the door in the kitchen and he doesn't have a name. He likes me to sit and talk to him, but father gets very angry when he finds me doing this. Wait, what? A new friend in the secret room behind- So we were just there. The secret room behind the kitchen is a dungeon with chains and shackles. His eighth birthday, not 18th. Oh, oops, I can read. <laughs> I was gonna say, 18's pretty old to be saying, my nanny's gonna say I'm gonna grow up to be a big, strong man. Uh, oopsies. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Especially, because I was also gonna say, I thought he went missing at 15. That's a better timeline. A new friend. I asked father who the boy behind the door was, but he told me there was no boy behind the door and it was just a silly fantasy. Wow, gaslight girl Kate, or er, gaslight gatekeep girl boss. May 24th, 1820. I showed father the painting I just finished. He said it was quite good, which is the best thing he's ever said. While he was in a good mood, I asked if I could go and look behind the door in the kitchen. He pretended not to hear me. June 28th, 1821. My father's done a terrible thing. All this time, he pretended there was no boy behind the door, and now this. There's blood all over the kitchen floor. I will do what I can. Then we can be a family, together, and be happy. That's where it ends, except for a little ink blot just underneath the text. Oh boy. Okay, so the year 1814 is when he turned eight. Eighth birthday. 15, 16, 17, 8, 9, 10, 11. 18, 19, 20, 12, 13, 14. So now we're getting up to like 14, 15. Now we're getting up to his 15th birthday. Anniversary, my father's done a terrible thing. Kid is turning 15. 1821. Secret boy being, like, held prisoner. Oh, God, do you think it was a child? What the fuck is this secret boy? Secret boy being hidden by the the big man Defoe in a dungeon? Presumably killed the boy when his son turned 15? I will do what I can, then we can be a family and be together and happy. Well. Chat. It's safe to say that we have a mystery that's getting quite spicy, but since we're only on day three out of five, and it is nine o'clock, I think 
we will probably have to finish this mystery in a second stream tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. If you're interested in seeing the conclusion of this game... Also, I don't even know if it's going to be the conclusion. Since we made it through, presumably, like two and a half days today, and the game takes place over five days, maybe, maybe this will be a two-streamer. Maybe it'll be a three-streamer. I don't really know, but if it is a two-streamer, um, if you're invested in figuring out who the boy behind the door is, and what the fuck happened, and, and, and what happened with these Defoes, and what's going on in this house, uh, join me tomorrow, and we'll figure it out for Spooky Season. If you have any other spooky game recommendations, you can feel free to throw them in the Discord. That's not a guarantee that I will play them, but we do have a little bit of time left in Spooky Season, and I am curious to see what else we can get under our belt. If you guys could leave a like on the stream, the engagement is super helpful. Thank you for spending your evenings with me, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow for more... Uh, mystery shenanigans. Alright, see you then, boys. Toodles! <laughs>